What's up guys, my name's Brandon and the public beta of iOS 16 was just recently released so that means that a lot of new people are going to be updating without thinking twice about the bugs or the potential downsides that come with installing beta software. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to safely downgrade from any iOS 16 beta back down to the latest stable version of iOS 15. And the reason you might want to do this is because iOS 16 is still in its beta stages. So there are going to be issues that you might get frustrated with, like severe battery drain, banking applications or games not working, apps crashing, or just any other number of bugs that are currently being experienced on these betas. All right, so if you updated and you got to check out the new features, but now you wanna go back to a stable version of iOS 15, here's how to do that without losing any data. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go into your settings, go to your iCloud section, go to iCloud and then iCloud backup, and you wanna make sure this is turned on and then tap on backup now. That way you have a brand new backup of all of your data in iCloud. Then we're gonna go back two pages until we see Find My. Tap on Find My, we're gonna to go to Find My iPhone and we're going to to turn this off and you will need to enter in your Apple ID password and it will turn off find my iPhone and you should see that completely turned off now after that we're gonna go back to the main screen of our settings go to general go all the way down to the bottom where you see transfer or reset iPhone tap on that and then down here you will see reset we're gonna tap on reset and you want to tap on reset all settings. And it says that this will reset all settings, no data or media will be deleted. Now this is not reset all content and settings. So it's not going to remove any photos or contacts or any information off of your phone. It's just going to reset your settings and you will need to reset them again when you downgrade back to iOS 15. And the reason for this is because some of the settings in iOS 16 could conflict with iOS 15 and cause some bugs and some really big issues that you don't wanna deal with. So better safe than sorry to reset all settings ahead of time. Now you want to get a lightning cable and plug it into your computer and plug the other end into your iPhone. You do need a computer for this downgrade method to work properly. And if you're plugging in your phone for the first time or the first time in a long time, you might need to trust the device. So be on the lookout for a pop-up on your screen that says to trust the device and you will have to put in your device passcode. All right, so now we're going to get on our computer and go to our web browser of choice and we're going to go to ipsw.me. I will have this linked down in the description below. This is going to be where we download the IPSW file for our corresponding device. So once you're on here, you will see this layout right here. You want to click on iPhone or iPad, whatever you are going to be downgrading. We're going to do iPhone for this example. Then we're going to select our iPhone from here. So I'm doing this on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm going to select that. And here is where you will see the latest signed IPSW files. Usually there's only one or two right here. And as you can see, we only have one right now that is iOS 15.5. That version will be different in the future if you're watching this later on. So just look for the green check mark and the green text. That is the one that you are currently able to downgrade to. So you're going to click on that. Then you will see a big blue download button with the size next to it. You want to click on that and it will begin downloading that file. Should not take very long, but of course it does depend on your speeds. And while that's downloading, you need to go into Finder on a Mac or iTunes on a Windows computer. And for whatever reason, it's not showing up for me right now. So I'm going to unplug my iPhone and plug it right back in. And then you should see it pop up and find it right here under locations. If you don't see it for whatever reason, just lock the device and unlock it and put in your passcode and then it should pop up. So once you're here, you want to locate the backups section right here and you want to click on backup now and make sure that is encrypted as well. Go ahead and click the encrypt local backup. That way you save all of your passwords and things like that and sensitive personal data. That way you don't have to retype it in once you restore. And keep in mind, this backup could take a while. It does depend on how much data is on your phone, but this is a mandatory step. You need to do this in order to back up and restore properly. And by the time this finishes, you should have the IPSW file full downloaded. All right, so once your backup is complete, make sure to click on manage backups just to make sure it's in there, make sure you know it backed up correctly. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead to restore iPhone and you want to press option and click on restore iPhone at the same time or shift click if you're on a Windows computer. And from here, you want to select the iOS 15 IPSW file. So for me, it's right here. Of course, it will be a large size, so make sure you select the right one. Then you're going to click on open and you will see this right here. Your Mac will erase and restore your iPhone to 15.5 and we'll verify the restore with Apple. Click on restore. 
You will see it will extract the software. Make sure your phone stays plugged in this entire time. You will see it go through the reboot and restore process. All right, so we are back from the restore and you will see the hello screen right here. You just wanna go ahead and swipe up, select your language, go to the quick start section and then you should see on your computer, you will see it says, welcome to your new iPhone. And from here, you just wanna select set up as new device and then continue. And you don't really need to finish the setup right here, but we're gonna do it anyway. Let's just go ahead and continue continue set up later and there we go welcome to iphone and you can see it is a brand new iphone here on ios 15 with none of our old data on it and we are going to restore from that backup that we created on our computer to get all of our data back now the problem here is that apple by default does not allow you to back up from a newer version to an older version so if you backed up your data on ios 16 and you want to go back to ios 15 you're not able to do that you cannot restore data from a newer version down to an older version. However, we do have a workaround for that. So what you wanna do is go to your manage backups right here. You will see the backup that you created right before you did the restore. You want to right click on that and go to show in finder. And if you're on a Windows computer, I will have the location for this in the description below. So you'll see once you press on show in finder, it will show you the folder right here. Go ahead and double click on that. Then go all the way down to the bottom and find info.plist. Now, once that opens up, you will see that we just have a bunch of code right here and all you want to do is press on command f to find something in this document or in this current buffer now this works in text data or any application you are in just press command f and we're going to search for product version so there we go we have the key of product version and then below that you should see the string that says 16.0 all you want to do is backspace on that six and insert a five so it says 15 0.0 and then press command s to save or just x out and make sure you save that now we're going to go back to our finder window and if you see restore backup is grayed out right now all you want to do is unplug your phone and plug it back in because that should not be grayed out so let's see if that works now let's go ahead and plug in our device let's go back here and you should see that restore backup is now there and is not grayed out so we're going to go to restore backup and you should see the backup that you just created right there and you will need to insert in the password if you did encrypt that backup click on restore and now it should erase and restore your device again but this time you will have all the data back that you had on ios 16 and you will return back to ios 15. and you can see that the restore is currently in progress now make sure to keep your phone plugged into the computer until the restore completes and again it could take a long time or it could just be a couple of minutes depending on how much data you are restoring all right so our restore has completed it took me about 20 minutes i did have a relatively large backup to restore from so yours might not take as long but it took me about 20 minutes so now you can go ahead and unplug the phone from your computer you will see this little bar right there but you are safe to unplug after you see this appear all right so there we go you can see the hello screen and you can already see our background that we had on ios 16 right here back on ios 15. so let's go ahead and continue we can set up all of these settings later of course we did reset our settings before we did this so we are going to have to go ahead and reconfigure some of your settings we're just going to speed through this just so I can show you guys that we do in fact have all of our data back on our device here on iOS 15. So we're going to agree to this. We're going to go ahead and speed through all of these set up later swipe up to get started and as you guys can see we have everything right here all of our apps are downloading you do want to make sure you go ahead and log in to your apple id that way all of your apps can go ahead and continue downloading and finish up downloading but as you can see here we have all of our applications we have the same layout we have all of our text messages we're going to be logged in on all of our applications as long as you encrypted that backup so that means we won't have to re-log in to instagram or youtube or any of that it's all going to be there you're going to have all your photos all of your phone call your contacts all all of that is still going to be intact here on iOS 15 with no data loss. So there you have it, guys. That is how you downgrade from iOS 16 down to the latest version of iOS 15 without losing any data. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more iOS 16 and of course, iOS 15 coverage as well. And also leave me a comment down below as to why you downgraded to iOS 16. Is it just because you wanna wait until the final build comes that we have a more stable device where some of your apps crashing let me know your reason for downgrading down there in the comments below but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon